So we've come a long way and it's finally time to talk about how sodium is reabsorbed. And we're going to do that initially for this first part of the nephron, the proximal convoluted tubule where most sodium is reabsorbed. So here is the inside of the proximal convoluted tubule. So filtrate is here and we're trying to reabsorb sodium across the walls of that. So first things first, what are these walls made of? Well, like everything else in our body, they're made of cells. And so I'm going to draw these cells nice and big. These are the cells lining the proximal tubule. And these are epithelial cells, where this is what we call the apical side. And this is what we call the basolateral side. So sodium is coming down through here, and we want to reabsorb it. And so what you'll notice is that reabsorption is actually a two-step process. You first need to get the sodium across this first membrane, and then you need to get it across that second membrane. So we'll actually start by talking about how it crosses this basolateral membrane. And the way it does that is using a very famous transporter called the sodium-potassium ATPase. And so that's going to push sodium out and take potassium in. In particular, it puts out three sodium, and it takes in two potassium. Now this thing uses up ATP. ATP is our source of energy that our body uses. And so this transporter requires energy, which is why we call this active transport. So active transport burns energy.